yes yes go uh, uh, so actually i'm 10 years of ma- married uh, we are i think we are happily uh, married couple and i have lost seven miscarriage uh, since i have incompetent cervix so i lost my baby in 5 months and 6 months in the seven pregnancies so now after the laparoscopic surgery with the tans abdominal surgery after the surgery i was not able to get pregnant uh, i was not able to hold the pregnancy also but my sper- uh, husband sperm count is also is fine uh, because they people I mean doctors need to monitor me but i don't know what is the exact reason that how could you help this kumbak will help me in getting pregnant uh, because all those history so the answer is in what you have spoken you are not able to hold the pregnancy so what we are teaching is in how to increase the hold <laughs> how to increase the hold that is kumbha kumbha is basically holding your breath not only holding your breath but positioning your body positioning your focus in such a manner that the whole through that whole something can grow within you if you hold something within yourself you need a certain strength certain level of strength to actually grow that baby now uh, there are certain people there are people who get uh, who conceive easily but they are not able to hold the baby for long in some cases the heartbeat doesn't get uh, get developed in other cases the organs are not proper uh, there are some cases where uh, there is a certain incompetency in terms of alignment of the body of the baby there are many many problems some can be diagnosed and most of it cannot even be diagnosed for example i'll give you one simple example why heart beat uh, doesn't happen in a baby so the real reason is there is no answer for it in the allopathic uh, way of treating the body but in the kumbha kalachara how we consider or how we look at this is there is something called as dakshina bala now dakshina bala translated into a practice of breath is at least four times more hold of the breath then the uh, number of or the count of inhalation for example if you can inhale for 8 seconds can you hold it for at least four times more than 8 seconds that multiple of 4 into 8 that means 8 4 32 32. if you can inhale for 8 counts can you hold for 32 counts if you can't hold for 32 counts that means your heart is weak if your heart is weak obviously the kid will not be able to develop the heartbeat properly so this becomes the treatment procedure also what we do we diagnose you for what kind of weakness is there in your body and then we give you certain ratios certain methods customized methods to actually help you to come out of that weakness or the weak force within you for example if the dakshin bala is weak then we will give you a process so that your dakshin bala becomes strong and then what will happen you will be able to hold the baby earlier you were not able to hold or the heart beat was not able to develop then after the practice and we have people like that in our course where uh, they were like the tendency of miscarriages were huge they couldn't hold the baby but after doing kum- kumbha they could hold the baby so one is very in a very simplistic manner we are teaching hold first of all the second thing is we need to know why it is not happening why you are not able to hold which factor has become weak and then we give you a customized method and customize the whole therapy according to that weakness and that's how that factor increases and the person is able to hold so this is what you said i am not able to hold so practice hold <laughs> the simplest and the most appropriate solution is practice hold that is kumbhak <laughs>